Hello, it's me Jess. Welcome to my channel. I'm here with another channeled message. This is a specific message. It might resonate with you. It might not. All right. So this message has to do with a message and I'm just hearing message equals tower in my mind message equals tower so i don't know what side of this equation you're on someone could have sent you a message and you were really like not expecting this this could have been like a blast from the past or it was just kind of out of the blue and like you don't really know what to say or there's been an impact here like with this message especially like in an emotional space but for some of you i feel like you could be thinking about sending a message here to a person where maybe it would feel like that it would be like blast from the past or dredging something up or like out of the blue something and it would be a tower moment here for this person because they're not really expecting it i feel like their life has you know moved on in some kind of sense and it feels like in their own way they've put whatever has gone on behind them but i feel like I'm seeing the page of cups. So whatever this was, it feels like page of cups energy. So somebody here could be wanting to apologize or just kind of reach out. But this is just like little, you know, this would be something small, something sweet, like just kind of trying to open up the doors or something. But it feels like this is a situation from your past where the roads have diverged. And I mean like the timelines have diverged. It's like, I think you maybe could have taken a path with this person, whether that is romantic or platonic or on a work level, something here like that. There was, I think, an option to take a path here with this person, but I don't think that was chosen by one or both something happened here and it diverted your path and i'm seeing you or maybe it's this other person whoever's wanting to reach out here somebody somebody wants to reach out here um and i feel like the un other person is like very unsuspecting and it's like they want to like almost shoot an arrow like maybe a love arrow or something like over from their timeline to this other person's timeline <laughs> um if that makes sense but as long as if you're the one wanting to do this i feel like you should know kind of all these things that I'm saying. Like, I do think it will come as a shock to this person. And I'm remembering from one of the live stream messages where it's like, you know, potentially you could reach out to this person as long as you're willing to accept, you know, however the chips fall, which might bring a tower moment to you. Because again, I'm feeling that tower moment energy around this message. So it could be that, you know, maybe this person doesn't respond because I do feel like they would be very confused or like maybe not know what to say. Um, I want to talk about the emotions behind this here in just a second, but there's a lot of reasons why this person like just might not respond or they might not respond in the way that you want them to. So I feel like as long as you understand that that's the scenario because you, your lives and your timelines have really gone kind of like that separate way. I feel like somebody here wants to apologize for something that they did maybe when they were like young unconscious and they just they didn't know any better and I feel like it is actually a really nice thing to do and it's a really nice thing to say I feel like there's been some learning uh, and processing that's gone on here for for somebody there really has been like a lot of growth and a lot of reflection and a lot of processing and I feel like they're realizing that that this other person is a really great person they're able to I see you now is what I'm hearing like I see you now much clearer I see everything that you are I see everything I feel like somebody here was always a really great person and i feel like that could have been lost on this other person and they may have just treated them you know in a way that was not great and it was i don't even i don't know it's like they were very unconscious so they could have like hurt something here and they want to reach out yeah so um now i want to talk about this person receiving the message which again this could be you some of you have already received this message and you're just like flabbergasted or you're like shocked I feel like for some of you this maybe makes a lot of messages that you've been receiving in tarot much clearer because somebody here unbeknownst to you I feel like could have been processing their connection with you like on the back end and them reaching out to you I feel like has initiated this tower moment but it's for healing to occur because whoever's receiving this message whether it's you or somebody else there is actually a lot of emotions that are kind of behind I'm seeing like an iceberg you know, so it's, there's a lot of emotions that are like behind the scenes here. It's a lot bigger emotion than I think maybe they even know. And it feels kind of even bigger than this situation because I feel like these emotions are like connected to a bunch of other stuff, or it could be tied to like a treatment for this person, some kind of way that they are used to being treated, not just by the other person in this situation, but potentially by other people in their life. 
And I feel like this maybe is like a karmic routine or pattern that they have had to break free from. So they could have had this reflected to them in a lot of their different relationships or circles or something here like that. So that's what I'm seeing is like there is like actually a lot of emotion here behind this kind of like iceberg energy. And I want to go back, like, I think this is tied to a treatment for this person. And that word is standing out, treatment, treatment, treatment. And I'm hearing like, you know, that common phrase in spiritual circles, like dis-ease, you know, disease. It's like dis-ease. I'm not saying that this person has a disease or like they're, it's that it's something like huge, but I actually do feel like this person maybe has had some physical symptoms that are actually related to this kind of like, oh, I just heard emotional despair or just some kind of like emotional sickness or like process, like holding these emotions in. And they might not have even realized it. They could have, you know, treated the symptoms and it would go away. Cause I, I'm actually not feeling like it's major, whatever it is, but I do think it has affected them on the physical somehow. So this could be you, you know, that has this, and there could be somebody in the background thinking about reaching out and sending you a message, maybe apologizing for something or trying to start up your relationship or make you laugh or, you know, something. And if you receive this message, spirit might just be giving you the heads up that like, Hey, incoming, <laughs> there might be like a tower moment, but I feel like this could have the effect of like a healing crisis. It, it might have that effect, but because there's so much emotion behind it and emotion is such a broad term, like you don't know what's back there. Um, cause people deal with things, you know, in, in different ways, but I feel like they've been on the receiving end of a treatment. And so it could be sadness. Like this person just might cry a lot. It could be anger. They might yell and scream. It might be at you. That might, um, be the tower moment, but also it might not be. Cause I kind of feel like for some of you, especially if you are maybe feeling divinely guided to reach out to this person, it could be because they're in a better place now. It could be because spirit's like, all right, they're ready to actually like move this. And it would maybe actually behoove them to move this or to get back in touch with like those emotions because they potentially are stronger now or better now, or maybe they have the emotional support system that they need around them now that maybe they didn't have in the past or something here. So it's not a no is what I'm hearing. Like spirit, that's what I'm going back to that reading. I think it was a live stream and it's like, it's not a no from spirit. Like if you want to reach out, you can reach out so long as you understand that nothing is guaranteed here, because it does feel like there's love coming through on your side. Again, I'm like seeing the page of cups. So it could be, you know, a small amount of love or just like thinking of you, <laughs> you know, like, um, it's, I have this friend and I actually haven't done this for in forever, but like I knew this person when I was like, I don't know, like 19 or 20. And literally it went on for years where, I mean, I was like living in another state and everything. And both of us would just text each other, pulse check, like just pulse check, just making sure like you're still alive. We would say nothing else to each other. This went on for literally like over five years. Um, and I hope he's, I hope he's okay. Um, but it something even like that, you know, just like, Hey, thinking of you, like, how are you? I think some of you even want to send something here like that. Cause you're, realizing that you like this person, that this is a great person, that this is a lost connection that maybe you wish it wasn't, you know? Um, so as long as you understand that it feels a bit like Pandora's box, like, you know, some, who knows what's going to come out of there. <laughs> like once you hit that iceberg, as long as you understand that and, and, I feel like spirit is kind of running you through this checkpoint because it's kind of making sure that this is coming from a genuine and authentic place because, and like a non-selfish place. Like, no, I really, I love you. And love is like not a selfish thing, you know? So it's like, I love you. I understand things may, may have gone wrong here. I think, I think something went wrong in this connection before, and it could have just been that it's a misconnection. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, as long as you understand that I'm seeing Wikipedia now, <laughs> um, you know, I logged on there like a couple of days ago and it, you know, it asked me to donate like the $2 and 35 cents, you know, and I always try to, but I always get annoyed every time it prompts me, but, um, it's important that it prompts me. And I feel like that's kind of like this person because Wikipedia is a resource that all of us use like on a pretty regular basis. Even if it's just to, you know, your first dive into a topic, you might check Wiki Wikipedia first or something like that. It's like all of us use it. And it's so like, integral in like the fabric of society, but it's kind of like, ugh, like 235 for this. Like, come on, like how annoying, like, you know, it just feels like maybe this person holds a position like that, or maybe you feel like you did. Um, yeah. So I don't know. Um, this person, if you're thinking about reaching out to a person, this person is going to be surprised. They're really not expecting it. I feel like this is like, it's yeah, they're, they're going to be surprised. They're, they're not expecting it for whatever reason. And there is kind of tower energy here. I'm hearing like, I don't know what to say, you know, um, like I'm confused. I don't know what to say. Cause that's that kind of, 
yeah, so they might they might not say, or they might not respond. I don't know. I, I just, as long as you understand that, and for some of you, I feel like you could have just received this message from someone who was thinking about you or wanted to apologize or meet your acquaintance. I feel like there's a past connection here to this. So that's all that really wanted to come through is just spirit reiterating, yes, this is a great person. Um, it feels like your lives moved along different timelines and it is kind of that energy of you shooting an arrow like from your timeline to this person's timeline. And I don't know that it'll ever ever be like you guys merging timelines because that feels kind of like a past energy. I don't know. Um, like what's, I don't know. I don't know what could happen here or I don't know. Um, but there is tower energy that's associated here with this. Um, some of you I think could have received this message and you're confused and you don't really know how to respond or if you should respond. And I really don't, I think this is about you. I think spirit is just saying, look, like this is about you and the time to merge timelines. I think you acknowledge is in the past. And so it's really just about your healing. And maybe this did release some like big emotional energy that you had locked up that you thought you would, you know, you'd put it away so that you could function and that you can move on and everything. And you thought you were fine. And then all of a sudden this big, like emotional rush kind of like came back when you heard from this person or, you know, I don't know. So, um, spirit is saying, look, this is about a healing crisis. This is about you. This is about you processing your energy. If that is the case and respond if you want to, however you want to, um, to this, to this person. So that's what I have for you. If that resonates, please like comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys. <laughs>